Uh, so, Dorian, as you mentioned, strengthened to Category 3. So right now, if we take a look, it has sustained winds of about 185 kilometers per hour. The movement is a northerly movement at about 11 kilometers per hour. It is just currently southeast of Charleston. As we watch its tropical track and it moves its way up, it's going to stay and it looks like it's going to maintain as a Cat 2 as it just scoots its way far enough away from the eastern seaboard of New York and Boston, really not to create any dramatic impact. But as we see it move its way towards Halifax, the province of Nova Scotia, that happens early morning hours on Saturday, and it looks like it will be at a Category 1. That will impact flooding, of course, wind destruction. Uh, we're going to really keep an eye on this, and then all of a sudden, as it moves its way towards Newfoundland, it then becomes a, a tropical depression as it works its way out. This is a very impactful storm. We're going to keep an eye. Winds here at home big difference. We have really no winds to speak of. How does that impact us at home? Well, with cooler air temperatures of 5 degrees, 11 in Toronto, we do have fog patches, especially outside of the city. So be careful on your drive in. Be grateful, though, with clear skies. When that sun rises just before 7 a.m., it'll start to burn off some of that fog. So through the afternoon, we're comfortable after a cool morning, 21 degrees, 22 tomorrow. Cloud cover builds into the evening, a 30% risk of some showers. Then on Saturday, dry conditions at 22. We'll continue to watch Dorian. Of course, your forecast here at home.